Mod Podge is an incredible tool you need to have in your craft room at all times. Seriously, so many ways you can put it to good use. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and let's get on into it. Dollar Tree is pretty quick to get out tons of like DIY Valentine decor, but also some really cute gift wrap. So any of the Valentine's themed tissue paper would work, and I just want to upgrade this small little vase by wrapping the bottom in some of this tissue paper. I didn't even obsess over the wrinkles, just wrapped it in there and sanded the bottom off so it would get rid of any of the excess and let this completely dry. And then you have a completely made over vase that looks a lot better than just it being super plain. One of my favorite hacks or tricks that I discovered a little while back was to use Mod Podge to create a fake waterline. So this is incredible. It doesn't show up as much as if you actually purchase like some kind of epoxy kit that would make the fake water, but it still looks really great, especially if you're doing like this project on a tight budget. All I did was put some Mod Podge down in the bottom of a glass container and it would work. Let that completely dry and then repeat that over and over until it was thick enough or had as many layers as I I liked how it looked. It's hard to show up on camera, but looks incredible in person. To make a really fun little table tray or party bowl, all you have to do is take some Mod Podge and cover an entire clear container. I love these large, like shallow bowls. They are usually in the gardening section. They're called like a garden dish where you can make like little terrariums. But for this case, I'm just painting the Mod Podge all over this and then taking any tissue paper that you would like. You could opt for more of like the Valentine color tissue paper. But for this, I love that it's just white and has a ton of glitter. So I just went ahead and put that down and tried to get it as smooth as I could, but we are gonna be covering up the wrinkles, cut away any of the excess after it completely dried, and then going to paint the entire thing white. So after the tissue paper had dried and I painted it completely, let that dry and then any image or design that's on the tissue paper will show through and looks really pretty in any style decor. Next up is one of my favorite hacks. I've made this in several different styles, but you can grab any of the Dollar Tree fabric. All of the pink and girly designs are perfect for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, spring decor as well. I actually already had some fabric on hand, so I went with more of this floral design and then using the Dollar Tree lavender color. I thought that would be perfect. You do want to use a couple or two to three different colors in this, so there's more of a pattern, but just taking any um, glass bowl, even a plastic bowl would work with a smooth surface and using part Mod Podge and a little bit of water to thin it down, I'm gonna paint it on these fabric strips and then put it around the bowl. And this will be perfect to create a perfect planter that could be styled for any occasion, just picking your fabric to coordinate. I just continued wrapping this entire bowl, letting that dry overnight, and then put in one of these little cupcake shaped styrofoam pieces to hold some florals. You could put some of the hanging greenery in here. I decided to go with some white rocks as well as some colorful succulents. And I love how these from Dollar Trees have like that tiny bit of lavender on there so it coordinates with the bowl perfectly. I also love using Mod Podge to completely transform any plate that I have, and you can use this for so many things. I'm taking the same style fabric and just cutting it down to the, to the size of the plate, adding a ton of Mod Podge, and then pushing this fabric down on there really smooth. Once that dries, you wanna cut away any of the excess off of the plate. And then I really wanted to create like a really fun gift idea and put this mug, like actually glue it to the plate with a little bit of a design. I wanted it to coordinate with the plate. So cut out a little heart that I could use as a pattern to cut it out in the fabric and then Mod Podge that on the front of the mug.
and then using some E6000 as well as hot glue I just attached it to the plate and then I didn't even want to have to take the time to melt down a candle inside this mug so I just popped one of the Dollar Tree candles in there and this is ready to go. But not even for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or spring, you can make over these clear plates for any season, even keeping them more of a slight neutral. So you could just use them every day. But I love the Walmart Waverly line. They have gorgeous fabrics. You can find really cute fabric at the Dollar Tree, but I just love getting this bigger piece and always having them on hand. So just whatever you find that works for you, you probably already have some fabric on hand. I know I have a stash that I need to go through, but putting some more Mod Podge on this plate and just kind of repeating the same thing as before with these gorgeous different style fabrics. Once again, letting that dry, cutting away any of the excess fabrics, and then displaying this as a candle plate. It would catch any of the excess wax that could come off of like candles that don't have a jar on them, or just stand them up on some shelves to add a perfect pop of color. Another fun way to use Mod Podge is to pick up some of these wooden or bamboo utensils from the Dollar Tree and then I love going into the Crafter Square section picking out any of these little rub-on transfers. I love this little vine design and then I scratch whatever I want or just kind of put them on there, rub them on there to transfer this design and then covering the handle in Mod Podge. Now these are for decorative purposes only but look really cute setting up out of a crock or displaying it would even be perfect to use as a gift idea just make sure that you let whoever you're gifting them to know that these are for decor purposes only. I won't dwell on this because I know I've mentioned this a million times, but I love using window clings. Easily just Mod Podge them on any vase or jar, and it instantly upgrades it and looks like you tried really hard for Valentine's Day. And then another awesome project is to make some DIY coasters. Once again, these would be perfect gift ideas for V-Day or also Mother's Day, or just bringing them into your home for springtime, but using some wooden slices. I did paint them white and pink to give them kind of a plain background, and then using some of these gorgeous, like, daisy and floral like rose stickers. I just kind of played around with it, put however I wanted to, and then using two to three coats of Mod Podge, letting it completely dry in between. I'm trying to make these like water resistant, so if you do use them or someone uses them as coasters, it's not going to damage or peel up the stickers. If you need an easy craft idea or rainy day project, this is perfect for you. I found these wooden little cubes at the Dollar Tree, but they sell them at different craft stores, so if you can't find them there, definitely shop around. These are very inexpensive. I stained them a very like light wood color, but you also could paint them, and they just kind of played around with them. I wanted to create some little family blocks that I could display on my shelf. These would be incredible gift ideas. You could just make as many or as little as you would like, but I love this set of three. I put a little saying in the, like a sticker I had in the top one, glued it down some little pictures. I'm doing a heavy coat of Mod Podge over these just to make sure they're protected, they're not going to peel up and look gorgeous displayed with some fake plants. Using older books or thrifting books or books that you're going to trash because they're damaged, you can always save those and recycle them or upcycle them into something gorgeous. So I love grabbing these metal planters from the Dollar Tree, using some older book pages. If it hurts your feelings to tear up or destroy a book if you don't have any that are damaged or thrifted, you easily can purchase some like script 
uh, scrapbooking paper or even print off some like fake book pages. You can definitely do that on even if you had like an off white. Um, but this just is super simple. I had some old Dollar Tree books that I bought for a craft project. I wasn't interested in reading these but cut these down and I even cut them at an angle so they would slant overlap each other a little bit and just really had fun with it. It fits perfect and it's so easy to attach to these metal planters. I added an old timey like key that I got off of Amazon as well as a bow and this created a really fun project. It looks really cute. The Mod Podge is going to hold it down and then just add another layer to seal it off. And here is another similar project using some of the same book pages. I'm taking an old pickle jar, any jar that you already have on hand, always like think about what you could do with it so you're not just always tossing trash and then going and purchasing new jars to craft with. But for this one, I wanted it to look a little bit different so I painted the top and the bottom with some white paint. I did struggle to get the sticker off or the label off of the center so I did go ahead and leave that because I knew I was going to be Mod Podging these book pages in the center. So I cut them down to size and added some Mod Podge and I just feel like this looks so gorgeous kind of doing the paint at the top and the bottom so the whole thing wasn't really difficult to cover with Mod Podge and the book pages especially when you get around the top because I knew it would be so hard to Mod Podge around the curve. After I got the jar completely finished and letting that dry, I wanted to create a fun tag to connect to this top so it would hang down in the center. So just had a wooden circle and I painted it gray and then took a sharpie and created a little vine with some little leaves on it and created a fun initial in the middle. And then I felt like for it to look a lot nicer, I needed to cover all the little threads at the top where the lid used to screw on at. So I covered that with some nautical rope, even built it up a little bit so it was set up taller. And I feel like this looks like the perfect vase. Just stuck some eucalyptus in here. So gorgeous, but easy to put this together with some Mod Podge. Thank you all so much for checking out today's video and all of these Mod Podge hacks and DIYs. Please leave me a big thumbs up, make sure you are subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.